right? So as you saw in the preview today, we'll be making smooth zoom in and out. Uh, I'll go over each step in detail. Uh, I've already got my clips ready uh, and this tutorial will be uh, split into two parts. One is for the YouTube format, 16 by 9 ratio, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, 16 by 9 and the other one is for TikTok. So first thing you want to do is enable motion blur for all these clips. Um, my motion blur settings, uh, they change uh, with each edit. First thing we want to do is uh, add nodes and pair them with the clip but I assume you don't have this panel right here, which I recommend you getting it. I will link the video where I got this in the description, so be sure to check it out. It's really helpful. You just click add and then there's there's a null already paired to the clip, so that's really useful. But I will assume that you don't have this uh, panel, so I will make uh, my own nulls. So you add no object, then you cut it right here, you cut it right here, make it as long as the clip. So then we want to pair the nulls with the clip. So you, you take this pick whip uh, from the clip and you drag it onto the null and do the same one with this. So now what whatever we do on the null, it affects the clip so it's easier and we, we can do constant movement so it looks really really clean. So first of all you want to add motion tile, I have my presets so these are my settings. Now we want to do a zoom out, okay so I usually put 250 easies and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the graph something like this. Okay so it zooms out right then we wanna do a zoom in uh, to his face right so we wanna keyframe the position and scale we're gonna we're gonna separate position dimensions because we wanna graph them too if you don't separate them then you can't graph them unless in uh, speed graph but we don't need that so i'm gonna zoom in this much i think that is enough and i'm gonna put them right over here but now Look, if we do something like this, I'm just gonna copy and paste it, position, and look. It's not full, it doesn't look good, right? Because it doesn't zoom out all the way, look. So what I'm gonna do is look, we have this graph, and what we can do is what I call recoil. So we can make it go a little bit backwards. So look, before it zooms into his face, it will zoom out a little so it will look more natural of course you can see a little bit of motion tile but we can hide it later but look now it looks way more realistic i don't know how to say it and i'm gonna apply the same graphs on here so look they just i also recommend you getting flow extension uh, it's really really useful if you want i can uh, give you all my graphs i use them all the time so they are really useful Okay, so I'm gonna keyframe only the scale. We could also keyframe the position, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Wait, why is it? Oh yeah, we didn't pair it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you have to pair it with this and pair it with that. And I'm gonna zoom in from 50 to 100. So we easy ease the keyframes by... Oh, I didn't tell this, but you have to easy ease the keyframes using F9. Or you can just right click and uh, something like... Uh, yeah, keyframe assistant and easy ease. But yeah, now we're gonna add motion tile once again. So look, we're gonna do a really sharp graph because we don't want motion tile to show off. So something like that, maybe? It's it's not the smoothest thi thing in the world, but it will work, right? And now I wanna do a zoom out, out of his face. So I'm gonna do a 50 again. So look, it goes from 100 to 50. Gonna easy ease, oh damn, misclick, sorry easies and i'm gonna do a sharp graph with recoil because it zooms out i want it to zoom in a little on his face it will look way better trust me and i'm gonna do something like that so yeah you see but maybe i want it to be a lot stronger so it zooms out zooms in a lot more look it comes here it zooms in and then it zooms out yeah, it looks really good okay so now with this we get this to the very end and i'm gonna do 250 and now we're gonna do a simple graph something like that we, we need no recoil this time yeah it looks it looks hella simple but we're not done yet i want to do a zoom out again 
because we have a zoom out right here so we want to keep the loop going okay yeah look it's it's already clean right it doesn't look too bad okay so now what we're going to do is add adjustment layer this will be a key for your smooth zoom in and out we're gonna duplicate it using ctrl d and look um, because this is a zoom out, we're gonna add optics compensation. Now look, we're gonna keyframe, we're gonna check the reverse lens distortion, and we're gonna keyframe the zero. We're gonna put this to the very end, I'm gonna type 100. Look, it doesn't look too good, right? But trust the process. You F9, and then you make... Actually, I think you can do it in speed graph. You can do something like that. Oh, maybe it's too too much. Okay, and now look. The zoom is way more noticeable and smooth than it was before. Look. It just like stretches out or something like that. Look. And now um, we use warp for the zoom out. So like, look, this is, this is a zoom out. We're going to use warp, but we're not using it right now. Right? So we're not using warp. It's it's a effect to make something go far away. I don't know what I'm saying. We're gonna do 100 again, but we wanna keyframe the graph, like make it this sharper. Yeah, like that. Look. Okay, so look, we have one effect that is used for the zoom out, and we have one effect for the zoom in. So like this, it, it makes a lot of difference, trust me. Now this is a zoom in, right? That means he's coming from far away, right? We're gonna add warp. We're gonna change this to fisheye. And we're gonna change this to minus 100. Bam, keyframe it. We're gonna go here. We're gonna change this to zero, right? We put this to the very end. We uh, easy ease. And now look, we do a sharp graph. So I'm gonna change over to this. I'm gonna do something like that. Now look. Yeah, this looks good. And now, since we're zooming out, and we want him also far away, we're gonna add warp. Fisheye, wait. Fisheye, minus 100. Now put this to zero, and now we're gonna do a sharp one for the end. So now look, he comes from far away and then he goes away from far away. What am I saying? We want to make it a bit noticeable so it's a lot more smooth. Yeah, look. Look, there's a lot more depth in the edit if you do this. Okay, now I want you to answer. We used optics compensation right here for the zoom out, right? Then we used warp right here so that he comes from far away right so now is the question what do we use right here yes it was optics compensation you i hope you got it correctly okay actually i'm gonna do this a bit something like this no actually we need a lot more we need this to be noticeable look now it looks good so okay it looks really nice and I'm gonna add warp once again because this is a zoom out so we keyframe from zero and look he zooms out so I want him far away I do minus 100 and he looks far away right okay so now we have this I think this is done for now so now I'm gonna hop on to TikTok style edit okay so Personally, I don't know which one is harder, but I'm gonna try and explain this one too. So we want to enable motion blur again. I'm not sure if it's the same settings. Yes, it is. Okay, so we add null object once again. I'm gonna duplicate it. Yes, we're gonna pair it. And we're going to add motion tile. We want for it to be at the end. So we put it right there. We do 250. We easy ease and we do a sharp graph, kind of sharp, something like that. And now, for example, I also want to zoom out, so I'm going to do 50, bam, wait, bam, like that. And I'm going to do this 
so yeah it looks like that for now so we put this to the back we type 250 because it was a zoom out why can't i oh okay and we do a little bit shorter you know, like smoother yeah it looks better right and for example i want to zoom in right now so i'm gonna do wait for example i want to zoom in in his face other way to zoom in is using this tool right here uh, selecting your null and putting this somewhere right here so the zoom will automatically go to his forehead for example if i would put this there it will go there so this is really useful if you're new to editing and you don't want to use position keyframes so you can do this and i'm also going to do a sharp graph something like that yeah it looks good then it zooms in okay we keyframe the scale and we do 50 actually we want to add motion file so yeah we easy ease we use this graph and now look it doesn't look bad right and now we're gonna do a zoom out with a little bit of zoom in so that means we're gonna do a mini recoil or I, I don't know how can I say it but we're gonna make this zoom in before the zoom out so I'm gonna actually do this it doesn't look bad at all actually I thought it will be worse so now uh, once again we add adjustment layers and we want to do right here it will be optics compensation because we want smoothness right yeah we want that and you do something like this yeah since this is a zoom out right here i'm gonna do a warp because i want him far away and i'm gonna do something like this so i want him yeah look okay so since this is a zoom out again i'm gonna use optics compensation again 100 bam and i'm gonna do something like this so this graph like right here bam it looks really clean and since this is a zoom in i want to add optics compensation again but now we're gonna increase it to like 7 we're not gonna do a full one and we're gonna make it i don't know it i think we can make this softer so like something like that maybe yeah i think it looks good and now since this is a zoom in we want to do a fish eye from minus 100 to zero and then we do quite a strong one so look yeah, it looks hella good and since this is a zoom out again i'm gonna also use warp fish eye minus 100 bam bam yeah we have this so these effects right here these are the one that makes the smooth difference in the zoom in and out yeah i hope you learned something i hope i didn't yap too much Comment what you want me to explain next and I'll do a video on it, probably. Except for manga animations, because I really, really can't do them. I just don't understand them. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.